Hey guys, and welcome back to your Pi Game tutorial. This is video number six. So, where we left off, we were filling in the background, explaining RGB, and I told you guys we were actually going to draw to the screen. Well, first of all, I've already showed you guys how to draw to the screen, and that's with fill. But more commonly, what you're going to see people use to draw things on the screen is dot draw dot rect. So let me show you guys real quickly drawing of rectangles or even like circles and stuff like this to the screen, but we're going to do rect for now. Um, so underneath uh, this game display dot fill dot white, think of the fill, like if you're going to fill something in the background, you're basically, um, say you had, you know, a picture, okay, a picture of a tree, right, that you were showing, and you filled that picture with white. Well, you basically clean the slate. So what most people you're going to see do is they're using fill as a sort of like wipe the slate clean. So you can use fill. You can also have like a background image, stuff like that. Uh, we're going to keep it simple for now and just have fill white. So that's kind of like our clearing. And then between fill and the display update is where we render all the other graphics or show all the graphics and then we render it at the very end. So uh, we'll come down here. And what we're going to do is draw a rectangle. So well, to draw a rectangle, we're going to do pygame.draw.rect. And here, the parameters are where do we want to draw it, what color do we want to draw it, and then the coordinates. And the way that the coordinates work is, is it's asking where is the top left of this object, and then how wide is it, and how tall is it. And... I'll explain that in a second too, because uh, height will confuse some people probably. So, pygame.draw.rect, where do we want to draw it? Well, we know we want to draw it on the game display, right, our, our surface. So we draw it on the surface. What color do we want it? Well, we're going we're gonna to make it black because our background is uh, white, uh, or we can make it red, but we'll make it black for now. We'll make the other uh, thing I'll show you guys in a second, uh, red. So we'll make it black. And now we specify the rectangle, and that's going to be in a list. So we're going to use these square brackets and create a list. So again, first of all, it's the starting x and y. So let's just say, well, not sort of in the middle, so we'll say 400 um, and 300. So the x is 400, y is 300. Then how tall do we want this object to be, and how wide do we want this object to be? Well, um, I'm sorry, it'll pro it's actually, I think it's width and height, uh, since it's probably matching x, y. So we'll just say for now, let's say 10 and 10. Um, so let's go ahead and sa uh, save and run that. And there we have our you know white background. Now we've drawn this little black box. Now just to make sure I tell you guys the right thing, I'm guessing it's width and height. I'm not positive on that. So let's go ahead and run that and get our answer. Yeah, so it is width and height again. Height. Height. Again, so we've got 10 wide and what do we say, 100 tall? Yeah. So uh, then width and height. So also, let's talk real quickly. Um, let's draw one more. So we'll copy this and I'm going to paste this down here. And instead of black, we'll make it red. And instead of 100, we'll make it 10. So we'll save and run that. And see how, well, first of all, First, it drew the like the really tall rectangle, right? And then after that, we filled it with red. Now, some people might be slightly confused by why is the red square um, here where, and, and this extends down, because didn't we say we want it to be 100 pixels tall? And the way that uh, coordinates work, basically, is everything goes from, like when you say a coordinate is 0, 0, if we're talking about zero zero on the surface, zero zero is actually up in this like top, uh, top left corner, and then when you add to y, you actually go down. So when you specify, our, we specify the top left coordinates of the box, and when we say it's going to be a hundred pixels tall, that's a hundred pixels down, and that's not negative. That's positive motion for the y uh, axes. So that confuses people sometimes, but just keep that in mind. So uh, we drew that. We're going to go ahead. Let's change this back to 1010. Let's get rid of this red dot there. And now I want to show you guys a kind of a superior method to drawing rectangles. So if you're going to be drawing a rectangle, this is actually the better way to do it. We're not going to do this just because it is a little more complex to 
do the reasoning behind why we would do this uh, for graphics acceleration, but I do want you guys to understand that this is an option, um, and that is using fill. So as you can see, we used fill here, and we only threw in one parameter, and that was white, but there's actually another parameter. Actually, there's a few parameters you can put in here, but another one is rect. So we can come down here, and if you don't put any rectangle parameters in here, it just assumes you want the whole surface. But you can put rect parameters in there. So what you can say is you can say game display dot fill, and now we want to say we want to fill it red, and now we'll say the rect equals, and this is a list, and it's the exact same format as this list. So the top left x and y coordinate, we're gonna say we want that to be 200 by 200. And then how big this box you want to be, let's say we want it 50 pixels wide, 50 pixels tall. Let's go ahead and save and run that now. And you see how we have uh, a big red box over here and a black box here. So this is our original little black box. And then we've got a red box here that we just drew. And the red box was drawn actually using fill. And so a lot of times you're not going to see people using fill to draw. Um, shapes to the screen but you can and fill can be graphics accelerated so we can do things that makes this much quicker for processing as compared to drawing rectangles to the surface so anyway that is how we can draw things to the screen so that's it for this video and stay tuned to the next video